outside with the wind blowing in the morning with the, the smell of the flowers, the fragrances. I thought I was, I'm like, am I, what am I smelling? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, the, the sun on the bottom of my feet. I, I'm grounding outside. It's amazing, amazing experience I just experienced here. And I don't, what is the Griffin Garden? Yep. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Oh, I'm giving these away for free. I had a bunch that reseeded itself, and this is a sw um, swamp milkweed, and it is the only plant that the monarch butterfly lays its eggs on, so it's like this big, big push to grow milkweed. So I already made a posting about it. I did it last week, too, um, and I found a bunch more to just be kind of give away for free. So next year, they'll look like that pink, that pink flower right there, the tall one, that's what it'll look like. Next year, I you know.
in my neighborhood. Like, I'm here. I never heard of this place before. Just like two days ago, I, I found out about it, came on my feed. I woke up this morning and said, let me go. And I'm telling you, I instruct yoga and I've only, uh, I've had a sound bath come to my class, but outside with the wind blowing in the morning, with the, the smell of the flowers, the fragrances, I thought I was, I'm like, am I, what am I smelling? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, the, the sun on the bottom of my feet, I, I'm grounding outside. It's amazing, amazing experience I just experienced here. And I don't, what is the Griffin Garden? Yep. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Like this, this is what life is about. And I'm, I'm sharing this with my, my, my students and um, I'm trying to bring them to this level as I'm growing in my journey. And um, this is community, community building. I'm definitely about to be a part of the uh, uh, movement that's going on here that I'm just learning about. So I want to say, um, you know, peace and blessings to our, our Sambo healer this morning, and um, I'm looking forward to learning more. So you say you live in the neighborhood? Yeah, six miles of drive. Okay, so what do you think about like urban gardens and like how this is, you know, potentially affecting this this overall area? Uh, well, it's it's a it's needed. Um, I have been in the Detroit area, I moved back about six years ago, and you know, you ride around and I've seen urban gardens in different neighborhoods, but haven't connected with them. Um, and it's, it, it took my own uh, maturity and growth to, through yoga, brought me on how the earth connects us all together. And when you have people that understand or, or want to connect with with growth within themselves you got to look at the growth around you within the earth mm. so put getting your hands and, and learning about food and nutrients that's because you are more concerned about your own health and what you consume then you're like okay what comes out of the earth that's going to feed my body and my soul absolutely so then you start to say okay you when you start to see these gardens it's like you start to want to maybe say, I want to grow my own food. I don't know what's in what they're giving me. Uh, I know from day one, it hasn't been always about nurturing my mind and body. So it's all up to me. That comes with growth and with wisdom, with age. You're, you, 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 you start to want to actually feed your mind and your body. Absolutely. So I think these gardens are, are, are what's needed to start teaching our young people about gardening. And, and feeding themselves. And this is, you can actually grow your own. You don't have to go, go to the grocery store. You know, if you start wanting to become a vegan, mm -hmm. you can grow your own food yeah, and start learning about canning and things that our ancestors did in order to preserve food, to have it throughout the, 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 the winter months and and be nutritious. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think- Good morning. You got to be looking good around here. <laughs> Thank you, you can come inside. Yeah, man. <laughs> so today is our four summer Saturday, which consists of um, wellness classes that start in the morning, 9 a.m. meditation or sound bath, 10 a.m. yoga, which is happening right now, and then we have a market from 11 to 2. Um, this happens seven Saturdays throughout the season, um, starting July 6th, ending September 7th. And right now, all the vendors are getting set up. We have different vendors selling um, vegetables, barbecue, juices, jewelry, art, desserts, you name it. I'm selling my bouquets, which um, come from my cut flower garden that's in the back, as you'll see later on. Um, and yeah, it's a wonderful time. Um, also, during the market, we have workshops. So today, we have two workshops. We have um, a food demonstration led by um, her name is Jo. She's been doing it for two years now. And we're also gonna have a mindfulness botanical illustration class where you can learn how to draw flowers right in the garden. So it's such a beautiful day. It's windy, but it's a sunny day. And it's a perfect space to just come and just hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
ran off today. But, uh, did you want to eat I'm good for now, but thank you. Okay, check it out. Okay. And I was praying that they back with some vegetables. Oh, yeah. They only got tomatoes. Yeah. Just tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. I grew, what's going on? I grew a couple of tomatoes. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 You know, no, anywhere in front of the follow bin, just don't block the aisleway. Boom flower. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, checking in. Make sure you have your stuff kind of like settled down. This winning today. I know, I have tape. <laughs> okay. Right hand My name is Brandy. I came to Griffin's Garden today for the yoga. The yoga was beyond relaxing. The, uh, the instructor was very knowledgeable. It was so relaxing, so much fun. Then I bought this beautiful bouquet from Marilyn from her garden. She picked them herself. It's just a beautiful experience. There's so many great vendors in here. It's so much knowledge in here as well. Um, I think you should come down and experience it for yourself. It's a wonderful spot in the middle of the neighborhood. Um, this is a lot of people that were born and raised over here that are still here. I think it's a dope spot. So come and support Maryland's party.